personally, I dread when I need to find a new pillow for myself because I struggle with finding one that is supportive and comfortable enough. I'm not a big fan of super firm, like memory foam type of pillows, and I don't like super soft. So finding something in between for me has always really been a challenge. So I'm continuing my quest for the perfect pillow. I did some research and I found two pillows that are made from the same sort of material and claim to do the same thing, yet they are very different in price. One is $125 and one is $34.99. So I'm going to be testing both pillows for several nights at a time and really see if price is a huge factor in choosing a pillow or can I save some money and go with the less expensive one and still get a good night's sleep. Here are the two pillows that I'm going to be testing. This is the Lisa Hybrid Pillow. You might have heard of the brand. They're known for their mattresses. And this is the Sleep Restoration Gel Pillow, which I found on Amazon. So tonight is the first night that I'm going to be trying the Lisa Hybrid Pillow. I'm super excited to try it because I'm tired of having this neck pain. I'm on this constant quest to find a pillow that is comfortable for me. So I'm really curious to see if this $125 pillow is all that it's cracked up to be. So I have it on the quilted side right now and it does feel comfortable. I totally forgot to fill you guys in on how my first night's sleep went with the Lisa pillow. And I have to say, it was so, so comfortable. I really enjoyed sleeping on it. I slept on the quilted side with those little pockets. The past two nights, I've been sleeping on the quilted side. And tonight, I'm going to flip it over and sleep on the gel ventilated side to see if I like that side and if I really feel cool throughout the night because I normally am a hot sleeper. So I just woke up and last night I tested the gel ventilated side of the Lisa pillow and it was not my favorite. I definitely prefer the quilted side to it. I felt a little stiff when I was sleeping on the other side. I really wanna say that this pillow has to be doing wonders for supporting my head and neck while I'm sleeping. So I'm excited to continue testing this pillow. It must be giving me really great support, the fact that my neck is not bothering me after just a week of sleeping on it where I've been suffering with nagging neck pain for about a little over a month now with my old pillow. I definitely missed the Lisa pillow already, but this does feel comfortable. So we'll see how tonight and the rest of the week goes with this pillow. So far, my neck pain is completely gone. So I'm curious to see if this pillow is as supportive and if it's not as supportive, if my neck pain will come back. Last night's sleep was okay. I did toss and turn a lot. I just couldn't really find a comfortable position on the pillow. I woke up this morning with such a bad headache. I don't know if it's the pillow's fault, but in the past when I've woken up with bad headaches, I would immediately change my pillow and I felt much better. So I think it has a lot to do with the pillow supporting your neck and your head. So last night I overheated in my sleep. It totally woke me up. I was sweating, I had to kick my covers off, and I flipped my pillow over to the other side to just see like if it would make a difference and it would stay cool throughout the night. But the sleep restoration pillow stayed cool for maybe an hour, and then my pillow got really warm. Did not stay cool. After testing the Lisa Hybrid pillow for a week and then testing the sleep restoration pillow from Amazon for a week, I definitely got a way better night's sleep with the Lisa pillow. It was just really comfortable to me and I just felt cozy and like my head was supported like it should be and I woke up feeling refreshed and I really stayed asleep throughout the night. Normally, I wouldn't think to spend a significant amount of money on a pillow and $125 is a bit out of my price range. However, 
After noticing the difference in the quality of sleep I got between these two pillows, I think it is worth making the investment in a good pillow that will last you a long time.